How you doing, YouTube? It's Dan Lutz. Dan Lutz, even on white doors again. And uh, got a product today, another leather product. I worked hard on this one. Uh, this is my design. Uh, I've had it for a while. Been testing it, prototype testing it. And what it is, it's a canteen or water bottle carrier. And uh, I did some testing with it, and then I made a prototype of it. This is it. It's pretty ugly, ugly stitching, you know, but you got to start somewhere. But out of this little simple design here, come out a lot of uses with this. I did notice on the internet, a guy over in Germany had one similar to this, but it was actually molded just specific for one bottle. It only had one little bit of stitching right here for a very little adjustment. So I redid it, bigger loop, everything like that. So I sent this prototype down to Randy at Stitch Gear Outfitters. And I let him work his magic on it. And he, what he come up with, he comes back with this. Now you kind of get the picture what this thing's for. Let's get you a close up view on this. See my logo, Randy's logo. Randy always overkill stuff. Brass comments, bit of stitching, riveted. That's not coming off. Okay, you can kind of see how it's designed. Simple design, big form and function. Big, big function. I, I'm, I keep finding new things to do with this. Let me get you down here a little bit. What it is, once that's on your side, guys, my bottle carrier, what I like about this one, the way I designed it, so I can take a bottle in that. Now, if I get in rough terrain, you know, I'm gonna be sliding, you know, canoeing, pulling tight, we're good to go. Leave it simple, simple snug, my cup don't come out, bottle does. Real easy, in and out, love this. Reach back behind you, pull your bottle out, take a drink, go on. If you notice, if I wanna get it out, I take everything out, just unzip it, pull, real simple. Now I've got my cup, or my bottle. I have my nesting cup which got hooked on the handle, and I had the lid for the nesting cup. So, and then you, you look at this design, and it's pretty simple, but watch this. It doesn't need that bottle. It'll take any bottle, even on small water bottles, I put two of them in there. We also, Randy, I do not have the, the kidney shape or military type uh, canteen. Randy does, and, and uh, it fit right in there beautiful. He called me, loved it. Uh, so what, this is the actual first one that was built, and we've actually even modified it even more since then. But I wanna go over the functions of this. Of course, it's a standard water bottle carrier. Like that. You've seen, I, I had, I put the you know, lid, if I want tea out in the woods, put the nesting cup in there, all back in, real simple. Pull it tight. Now this is brand new. And it's taking a little at leather. Of course, Randy puts thick leather on there. It's gonna take a little bit just to mold it up a little bit more. Get it broke in. There you go. Fit and snug, put it on my belt, gone. Also, what I come up with on a day hike or you're just out in the woods mushroom hunting, playing around. This is my moor, guys. There's a fire steel on there, some duct tape, ready to go. A little bit more paracord. Found out I can stuff this down in there in the cordage. Still pull it tight. This bag doesn't really care about shape. Pull it tight. Like so. Now guys, right there in this setup right here, I've got four out of five C's. I have a container, I have a cutting tool, I have combustion, and I have cordage. One little day hike. Makes a nice little neat package. Put on your side. Not too big. Going fishing along the river. You're ready to go. The other thing I come up with this thing is because the, the universal thing is okay. I'm at camp, whatever. Found a good mulberry tree, guys. Want them mulberries or mushrooms? What do you find? Now I've got another container. 
with my handkerchief. You always be carrying one of these anyway. You can cinch it up when you got plenty of mushrooms, come back to camp, use it as a container. The other thing that was kind of unique about this thing, and I've been playing around with this idea, guys, it's kind of funny. Leave it open like that. Uh, let me put my belt on real quick. Put this on for you. It's kind of funny. We were just playing around with this idea. I like to dove hunt. I really like to squirrel hunt. And on the days that are, the leaves are real heavy on a tree, I take a 12 gauge with me. I get my belt on here. Now you can see the purpose of this. I gotta get it over my eyes so you guys can see it. I'm gonna move the camera around, guys, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now you can kind of see a little bit of glare there. But kind of see my bag. She's unloaded, guys. Okay, H&R single shot. Bring it up where you feel comfortable. Stick it right in there, guys. Stand there waiting on squirrels, dove, even a deer. Out she comes. That simple. Gun ain't in the mud. Take it easy. Pop it back up. Get back to camp. After, after hunting, put your water bottle back in there. Whatever. This thing's just, I'm finding more and more uses for it. Hang on, we're going around. Just keep finding more and more uses for this thing. Uh, it's a real simple design. I guess that's what makes them good. Keep it simple, stupid. K-I-S-S, right? It kind of fits me. I'm a little bit simple. I want these designs. But guys, I'm really proud of this. I, uh, it, it's, it's really nice. If you guys got an idea, let me get down here where I can, you guys can see me. If you guys get an idea on something, it's really nice. Uh, Albert Einstein once said that an idea is 10% uh, inspiration, 90% perspiration. So there you go. Uh, these are my babies because I designed them. They come out of this brain. I don't know where they come from. Uh, prototype them, adjust them, and build them. Now, I set this down to Randy. He built it for me. Come back up. Randy brain, I said, you know, his brain thinks like me. I guess that's maybe not such a good thing. <laughs> but uh, what ends up happening is what he did, it blowed my mind. Now, remember, this is the, the first one made off the prototype. What Randy did now is made a real nice pouch up front for an Altoids 10. So now you can small fish kit, tender, whatever. You know, all the stuff we can pack on this thing. So guys, if I if I had this, the, the tender bag, my knife, that's four of, uh, of five seeds. If I carried a cheap tarp, real cheap lightweight tarp, you could get by tonight on a day hunt if you got lost. You know, I, I I don't get lost here. I mean, I'm I'm within walking distance of walking out of any woods around where I'm at. Uh, down Southern Ohio, yeah, I've been uh, on the verge of spending the night because it got dark on us down there. It's a long walk. But anyhow, guys, I hope you appreciate this. Uh, I, you know, there's a lot of work goes into something like this. Uh, Randy just does a great job for me. Uh, you know, I'm the idea man, but he does a great job. And if you want some of these, look at this up. Stitch Gear Outfitters, uh, Randy Smith, get a hold of him. He's on Facebook. You can find him. Uh, so, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little, little video about my little design, my little baby here. Uh, I'm really proud of it. Uh, see what you think, guys. Send me some comments on this. Any more ideas? What do you think? You know? But if you want one, you gotta get a hold of Randy Smith at Stitch Gear Outfitters. He'll he'll hook you up. Great guy to work with. Uh, we're building these. We're, we're also going down the Pathfinder Gallery. These will be down there. I'm making Randy work hard to get these put out. So that way we'll have some inventory of these, and you can guys pick them up if you're going down there. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be safe out there. Have a bunch of fun, and uh, we'll see you on the next side. Thanks, guys.